My name is Stephen Merriweather. I'm the father of Garrett Richard Merriweather, who was killed May 22nd, 2019, at the age of 18 years old, murdered by a speeding drunk driver. My son left for school. Uh, we shared a cup of coffee, and um, he was thrown from his bike. The somber tone and pain of grieving parents discussing the needless deaths of their children was the grimmest of reminders about the preventable tragedies that occur when someone drives while impaired. She was actively smoking marijuana while driving in excess of 100 miles per hour. More than 300 motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists lost their lives on Nevada roads and highways last year. An equitable mobility for all. And that's the prime reason Commissioner Michael Naft organized a far-reaching forum of street stakeholders to convene, learn, and discuss strategy to achieve zero fatalities. We're here today to accomplish a few things, uh, and today I think we will. I think we're going to learn about historic trends from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. We're going to hear from the Regional Transportation Commission, the Public Department of Transportation, uh, the Nevada Department of Transportation and Clark County Public Works about what is currently being done at the state and local levels to address traffic safety. We will also focus on future trends and innovations that will lead to reduced injuries and fatalities in Southern Nevada with the Traffic Safety Coalition, Comprehensive Planning, and the UNLV Transportation Research, Research Center. Last year, in 2018, the summit had provided a statistics and a high-level dialogue about the past, present, and future of our transportation state of affairs in Clark County and Nevada. Quite simply, all these traffic professionals, whether they're involved in engineering, education, or enforcement, have a common goal every time someone climbs on a bike, walks down the street, or gets behind the steering wheel. Ensure that everyone arrives home safely. What is being done in terms of getting the traffic lights in Reno and in Las Vegas to, to cooperate with the drivers? KNPR radio host Joe Shaneman led a panel discussion with local and state street planners who told the audience what is being done in the planning, construction and operation of our roadways and how to best protect our community from pedestrian and vehicular fatalities. If you drive the speed limit, the signals are timed so that you should be able to hit the green as you progress down the corridors. If you are speeding, you probably won't hit the greens through the corridor. Are there any uh, future trends that you anticipate making any big impacts? As the far Review as Journal's as Road driving. Warrior columnist Mick Akers moderated a spirited dialogue about what could and should be done to curb car crashes. We've spent a lot of time, attention, and RTC and NDOT dollars on Boulder Highway. Um, and here's a fact. Boulder Highway um, was no longer the number one street where you're the most likely to die in Clark County. And when we look at the reasons why, the one big thing that happened in Boulder uh, on Boulder Highway um, in late 2017, there was a flasher put in in front of the east side cannery, which was in fact the deadliest intersection in Clark County. And lo and behold, no pedestrians have died there since. These county numbers, though, I want to... Nearly every speaker offered similar and simple reasons for the majority of these deadly wrecks. Excessive speed, not wearing seat belts, and impaired driving. So I have nothing but the utmost respect for the men and women who do this job. And as their new commander, I am committed to ensuring that they have what they need to do what they need to do to keep our roadways as safe as possible. So, um, as Mr. Merriweather said, um, we make stops, we write tickets, we try to make the point that driving impaired, speeding, running red lights are not insignificant issues. We don't have accidents, we have collisions, we have crashes, because it's not accidental when you determine that you're a little late for work, so you're going to go 55 in a 45, and that light just barely turned red when I went through it. That's how people die. Commission Chair Marilyn Kirkpatrick and Valley Mayor's Deborah March, Carolyn Goodman, and John Lee all signed a pledge, declaring their drive to work together to improve traffic safety across every jurisdiction. I'm starting with the babies because it's those three and four-year-olds today 
um, that we got to change the way they think. We got to change um, how to make it easier for them. And I am fully committed to working with the mayors. And this is about collaboration. It doesn't matter where you live, but you travel throughout the entire valley. And we have a responsibility to work together to make life better for not only folks today, but our future generations. The Traffic Safety Forum will be rebroadcast in its entirety many times in July. Check your CCTV listings for dates and times.